Hey everybody, today we're gonna fix a Samsung phone that's not charging. I'll show you how to figure out what's wrong and fix it yourself. The model doesn't matter much, most modern Samsung phones are pretty similar inside. So let's get started. So if I plug the USB cable into the phone, as you can see nothing happens. I guess I don't need to remind you to start by trying a different charger and USB cable. If that doesn't work, check the USB-C port. If it's damaged or you see bent or peeling contacts, it needs replacing. And even if you buy a new port and a simple hot air station, it'll still be a pretty affordable repair. Also make sure the port doesn't move when you shake it. If it does, it could mean it's come loose from the PCB. If you spot any debris or oxidation inside the port, clean it gently with rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush. So at this point we can only guess what the issue might be. It could still be the USB port, the charge controller, shorted capacitors or something else. But if you have a USB tester, it can really help with diagnostics and quickly rule out some issues. As you can see, the phone is drawing about 100 milliamps, which means the port is likely OK. So we should look for faults in the charging circuit. Let's go ahead and disassemble the phone. Apply some heat with a hair dryer, then use a suction cup and prying tools to remove the back cover. Next, take off the frame that covers the PCB. Now connect the charger and check if the voltage is reaching the main board. This ribbon cable carries the charging voltage, and we should see 5 volts here. And we do. If there's no voltage output here, you can either order a new board or take a closer look at the USB port and nearby components. Next, let's check the voltage on the other end of this cable. No issue there, but somehow it's not reaching the battery. So we need to remove the main board and investigate further. Let's carefully remove the shielding. Here's the power management I see, and we also need to check the surrounding caps for shorts, and check this coil, which often fails. I don't see any obvious issues here, so I'm guessing the IC is dead. Just to be safe, I'll replace the coil as well. Even though the coil has continuity, its inductance could be way out of specs. I've had many cases where phones wouldn't charge because the coil was faulty. Now let's replace the chip. I have a new one, it costs about 5 bucks delivered. Links for different Samsung phones in the description. Apply some flux, then place the chip into its place with the correct orientation and apply heat. Now let's solder the donor coil. Finally, let's reassemble the phone. As you can see, now we have a charging indication and the phone is drawing about 1 amp of current. Thank you for watching.